Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 23rd of 2021. Well, it is titled Mars over Dudo Stone Circle. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of one of the stone circles in England. And of course, we're very familiar with Stonehenge as a very prominent stone circle, but it's not the only one that exists. And this is another one there that was built thousands of years ago. And of course, so little of it is left now, we don't know exactly what it was done for. It's quite possible that there are some alignments or were alignments in the past that would have lined up up with various things such as Stonehenge lines up with several stones on the first day of summer so that the sun will rise over a stone a specific stone there. Of course, being Stone Age uh, things, we don't have any instruction books left behind. So we don't know exactly what was intended here in this stone circle either. But we expect that it probably was something like that. Now up in the sky, we do see one very bright object there. And that is the planet Mars. Mars known as the red planet for the reddish color of its soil. And this was taken when Mars would was at its closest approach to Earth, what we call opposition, when Mars would be opposite to our sun in the sky. And that would make it very prominent in the night sky and make it look a little bit larger than it normally would. And of course, we can also see all of the stars scattered around. Now, while Mars's coloring has to do with the composition of its soil, the coloring of the stars has to do with their temperatures. Very hot stars will appear blue and very cool stars will appear red. And as we look around, we can see a number of those stars that look blue and blue and others that look reddish. And that's telling us something about the difference in their temperatures. Now that works differently for a planet because the planet is much cooler and is just reflecting sunlight, not emitting its own light as the stars do. So here we get to see Mars as it looked uh, over the stone circle as it was taken last October when Mars was most prominent. You can still see Mars shortly after sunset now. So a chance to be able to see the red planet in the sky uh, over the next month or two before it slowly disappears into the sunset and then will reappear several months later as the morning star as a morning star. Uh, object coming up this next year. So something to look for early next year that we will be able to see Mars again. So when we see the planets, of course, depends on where they are oriented relative to our sun. When they are in the same general direction as the sun, they're hard to see. And that's why Mercury, for example, is very hard to see all the time because it's almost always in the same direction as our sun, making it very hard to see. Whereas other planets like Mars, as we see in our image today go through many times when they're very nicely visible and as we would see last fall. So that was our picture of the day for March the 23rd of 2021. It was titled Mars over Dudo Stone Circle. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be lightning up Jupiter. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.